Good morning, my lovelies. Um, today we're going to make yummy breakfast German pancakes. So first things you need to do are make sure you get all the ingredients, which you will need one fourth cup of butter, which basically is one a half a stick of butter. You will need flour. So I've got my flour. I've got my milk. You will need six eggs and a little bit of salt. So I got all the ingredients. Next, you need to make sure you got all the in instruments out that you need. So you'll need a mixing bowl, a one cup, and then some measuring spoons. Um, and then you can either blend it all in a blender or I have an immersion blender or you can just do like a hand mixer, whichever you want. Um, so this is a really simple recipe, but you bake it in the oven and it makes it nice and fluffy. So first thing we're gonna do, make sure you've washed your space, you've washed your hands, um, your hair is pulled back if you need to, and let's get ready to go. I forgot one thing, my German pancakes in my, in my cast iron skillet but you can put yours in any little type of medium pan that you want. So what we're gonna do is get one fourth cup of butter, which is gonna be half of this stick. And it's really nifty on here because a lot of times you see they put where it is. So we're gonna go to the half line, which is one half, one fourth of a cup. So I'm gonna cut right now. Take off the wrapping, I'm gonna put it in the cast iron and stick it in the oven because the oven as it heats up to 350 will melt the butter. So you just have to keep an eye on it because you don't want the butter to burn, you just want it to melt. And meanwhile, you're gonna mix all the other ingredients together. So we've got one cup of flour. Remember, sometimes flour piles up, so you just want to make sure it's flat. You can see how flat mine is. I got lucky. If not, you just scrape it off with your clean hand. All right, so we've got one cup of flour, one cup of milk, and these will, I'll put the ingredients on the website and below. One cup of milk, and just pour it on in there. And then you get to crack six eggs. This is how you know it's a breakfast item. So, one egg. And make sure you don't get any shells in there. So you gotta crack it really nice so that the egg can come out easily. If you need help from people, don't be afraid to ask. See, so that's my oven saying it's ready to bake whenever we're finished mixing. All right, that's five eggs. And then six eggs. And just a little hint, I like to save my shells and I let them dry out just a little bit and then I crush them up and I put them in my garden in the summertime because they really help tomato plants grow and they also keep slugs away. Slugs that munch on all of your beautiful flowers and leaves. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is mix one eighth of a teaspoon of salt. So that's less than one fourth. So I'm doing a half of one fourth because I don't have an eighth. You toss that in there and then I'm gonna use my immersion blender So you mix it all up until you 
juicy. All the flour gone. Everything seems to be mixed really nicely. And then as soon as the butter's done, you pour this into the pan and you let it cook for 30 minutes. Okay, it's been a couple minutes and while I waited for the butter to melt, I cleaned up everything. So I rinsed it off, put it in the dishwasher, or hand washed it, whatever I needed to do to make sure that the, I left the kitchen cleaner than I found it. Now with my trusty little heating pad, I am pulling out our cast iron pan. Oops, very heavy. So the butter is all melted. And now I'm gonna take our mixture. See there's a little bit sticking to the sides. So I'm just gonna run a little fork along it, stir it up for a minute, and pour it in. Make sure you get all of it that you can into the cast iron pan. All right, and now we stick it in the oven for 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes, and then we get to eat it. So here we go.